In chemistry, we often deal with ions, and it's important to know how to work with them when you're trying to find the protons, neutrons, electrons, or the mass number for elements on the periodic table. So we'll work through this table here, something you'll probably see on tests, or at least questions built from this table on tests, and we'll figure out the protons, neutrons, and electrons for these ions here. So let's start with sodium. When you look at sodium on the periodic table, it's just Na, so we have Na. There's nothing written after it. There's no plus, there's no minus. That means it's neutral. It's a neutral element. For neutral elements, the protons and the electrons are going to be the same. So this is neutral. This, with a plus sign, that's an ion. In sodium, the other metals, they usually form positive ions. So we have Na plus. Let's figure this out. The number up here, the atomic number for sodium is 11. We find this looking at the periodic table. Atomic number equals the number of protons. So we have 11 protons. And now we get to the electrons. Normally, if it was neutral, like just Na, protons and electrons would be the same. It would be 11. But the plus sign, that means we lost one electron. So instead of 11, we have 10. Think of it this way. Electrons are negative. So if we lose a negative charge, we become more positive. So with Na+, plus, the sodium cation, we've lost an electron. So instead of 11, we now have 10. The mass number, that is the protons plus neutrons. 11 plus 12 gives us 13. Note that this is a 1 plus charge. We don't write the 1 there. And also note that we put the number before the charge for these ions when we write them. Let's look at the chloride ion, Cl minus. So on the periodic table, we have chlorine. Chlorine has 17 as its atomic number. So it has 17 protons as well because the atomic number is the same as protons. So the number of protons, that's not related to being an ion. We don't worry about protons when we see these charges. Electrons, well, it would be 17 if it were neutral, but this is the chloride ion. It has a one minus charge. Think of it this way. Electrons are negative. So we see that negative sign. That means we have one more electron. So instead of 17, we put 18. Mass number, protons plus neutrons, that's 35. Let's do the calcium ion, Ca2+. So for calcium on the periodic table, Ca, we can see that we have an atomic number of 20. We have 20 protons. And we would have 20 electrons if it were neutral, but we have Ca2+. We've lost two electrons. 20 minus 2, that'll give us 18 electrons. If we want to find the neutrons, here we're given the mass number. So 20 plus something will give us 40. 20 plus 20. So we have 20 neutrons here with Ca2+. Again, it doesn't really matter that it's Ca2+, or Ca, for the number of neutrons. That's because electrons are on the outside of the atom. They're involved in the chemical reactions, and they'll change around. Protons and neutrons, they don't change. Let's look at the nitride ion, N3-. So nitrogen has an atomic number of 7. So we could write 7 for our atomic number, 7 protons. And then it would have 7 electrons, but this is N3-. It's called the nitride ion. So that 3 means we have three additional electrons. So instead of seven, we have seven plus three, we have 10. And then to find the neutrons, seven plus something equals 14, seven plus seven. Let's do one more, the aluminum ion. So aluminum atomic number 13 on the periodic table, and we're looking at aluminum three plus. So the atomic number is still 13. It doesn't matter that we have the plus here. That means we'll have 13 protons. And then when we get to electrons for this neutral atom, we've lost three. So that becomes 13 minus three is 10. And that gives us the number of electrons for Al3+. We have a bit of a problem here though. We have neutrons in mass number, but we can't figure either one out. We don't have enough information. When that happens, go to the periodic table. This 26.98 will round that to 27. So 13 plus 14, that would equal 27. So we found the protons, neutrons, and electrons for these ions here. Remember, if you have a positive, 
that means you've lost electrons. If you have a negative, you've gained them. And the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. The number of protons is equal to the number of electrons when it's neutral, like on the periodic table. So pause and try these. Use this information from the periodic table to help you fill in the protons, neutrons, and electrons. So these are the answers that you should have gotten. There are two things I want to point out. One is with neon. We have Ne. There's no plus or minus. That means the number of protons will equal the number of electrons. This is a neutral element, so I hope I didn't fool you there. The other is hydrogen, H+. Plus. Hydrogen has one proton. If it was neutral, it would have one electron. That plus, we lost that electron, so we don't have any electrons for hydrogen. And for this isotope of hydrogen, we also don't have any neutrons. So really, H+, plus, it's just a proton all by itself. So to wrap up, when you're looking for protons, neutrons, and electrons with ions, the thing to remember is, on the periodic table, these elements are neutral, so protons will equal electrons. When we have a negative sign, they're ions. That means if it's negative, they've gained electrons. And if it's positive, they've lost them. This is Dr. B with finding protons, neutrons, and electrons for ions. Thanks for watching.